and welcome to my channel. My name is Esther if we have not met before. Today I'm going to be unboxing the brand new Exploding Box dies from Crafters Companion. Uh, it comes with one main concept die but lots of others as well uh, as additionals to make it even more fab. So I thought it'd be fun to go on this journey together of exploring what exactly we get die wise. So let's get going. Okay, so let's take a look at the collection as a whole. First of all, what's available. So this is classed as the Exploding Box Main Concept Box um, and Lid, meaning that this is everything you need to create this element here. And you get several dies in that and I'll open them all in a moment but I'll just show you what's available then we have the exploding box mini box and lid as a stencil form and that creates this box here in the center there then we have these have all been resized for the exploding box and we have the uh, exploding box slider mechanism we have exploding box waterfall mechanism, exploding box twist and pop mechanism, again all resized. So if you have other Crafters Companion twist and pop uh, mechanisms, they are designed for the cards, they're not designed to be small enough to go onto these. Um, there are stamps available, happy sentiments, and uh, fancy borders so you could use those as borders or you could use those to edge the um, box lids as well so we'll start at the main concept die Just as carefully as possible open that which I already failed at Alrighty then, let's have a look. Okay, so the first thing I can see is the instructions. Tear those off carefully. There we go. Okay, so double page instructions telling you exactly what you get and it tells you how to do it. So it says step one, run the main box side die through your Gemini, cut those four times. So that's that, you would cut four times and that creates the base. It's telling you how to uh, main box lid, uh, fold and burnish all your, fold sorry, and burnish all your score lines. Step four, use strong adhesive. Step five, you should have now Four separate side panels obviously I'm just whizzing through but I'm just giving you an idea of what you get and then uh, to form the base of for this box you will need to cut your cardstock to the following sizes okay so it's telling you that you need to cut cardstock which I won't go into the measurements because obviously you'll get this and that is going to make these panels inside here uh, the, the flaps Okay, and then uh, you're going to line those up with the little tab pieces which are there and that creates the little sides. Okay, right, that all seems like it would be really straightforward and then you've got the extra dies there to embellish. So that main, if you're wondering if it's going to go through your particular die cutting machine, let's measure this at the widest point. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to say that's a, just under seven three quarter inches. Let's find the centimeters. And nineteen and a half centimeters. If you are wondering whether that will go, so. And then we have the other side. That is six 
and a quarter inches. Um, just about 16.2 centimeters. So you've got all of these as well, and they will, so you can make those your box lids as well. And you've got those tabs, which we talked about on the instructions. It's very pretty, I love all these borders. Nice. And then I think there's lots of dies that you've got there as standalone elements as well. It's a good hefty set of dies and you've got, you know, the more you look at it, the more you can see. You've got so many intricate pieces there. Really fun. I would definitely recommend that one. Okay. So then we have the exploding box uh, mini box and lid so this is the one that you would make up for the middle of your um, exploding box so that comes purely in the form of a stencil that's been done to keep the cost down I bought these as a bundle price because it was the launch day so you can see that's the lid pretty simple stuff there and then you because you can use you can use little edge dies to make those you don't have to worry about um, having to cut around those scallop edges uh, yeah so that's a pretty simple shape and I think that's going to be useful for general box making as well great for weddings so let's have a look at the instructions for that uh, I'm not going to read through it all because that's a bit boring. So step one, step two, step three, step four, step five. Yep, so just five steps. And then it says decorate the mini boxes desired using the pattern papers and embellishments. The box is perfect size to use as a favour box too. Ha! Huh. That's what I just said. Yeah, it's cute. It's good. It's a cute box. I like that. Right. So let's have a look at these um, fancy borders. Not really the best at getting into these. Okay. I did say it was unboxing. So kind of can't skip through that. Right. Here's our fancy borders. That's nothing else in the package. You just get the fancy borders. So you get the scalloped edges and you get like this one with the stitched and then a kind of a rip rack as well. And they are six and a quarter, thereabouts. Just a smidge over 15 uh, centimeters there. Very cute. Yeah, you could definitely use those as a, as a card edge. There's no reason why you wouldn't want to use those for a card edge. Love multifunctional products. Okay, now let's take a look at the stamps. 19 stamps called Happy Sentiments. Very cute. Okay, let's see if I can do a slightly better job of opening this one. They are acrylic stamps. So you've got welcome, hello, wishing happy. Then you've got things like little one, my friend, welcome home you could have, wishing you the best, wishing you a lovely day, you make me happy. Uh, that's good. You have happy couple, wishing you the best. And then you could have birthday, so you could actually add different bits there hello sunshine is cute that's uh, wishing you the best and then uh, was there a day birthday yeah wishing you could have wishing you the best anniversary yeah it's cute lots of very cute sentiments and i love the scripty font there and i'm a big fan of mixed fonts too that is a nice set 
very nice big fan of those okay what have we got next we have got the exploding box twist and pop mechanism let's see what we get in here oh i think actually I, i'm bossing opening this one look at that okay what she said and then can't actually get it open here we go so once again we have instructions there are five steps to that and it's telling you the size that you need to cut your initial card um, piece to and it's giving you full instructions there it's useful that it's in black and white as well those instructions oh we've got more so we've got nine steps giving you pretty explicit steps there what to uh, where to add your adhesive as well like that in step seven nice decorate your twist and pop card using your paper pattern die cut toppers to really bring your car to life well i guess you can use it in the car too so that's the actual mechanism there these two pieces the outer piece and this piece with the triangles and then you've got all these little frames there which you can i don't know if i can there's no picture to show you what i mean there but to, to decorate you could cut your photos out with that um, you can write little notes and then of course again you've got completely stand alone um dies there to use and other things that's about five and a quarter by two and a half uh six and a half by just over two and a quarter and then in centimeters that is love these um 17 just under five 5.9 ish 13 by six so it's giving you the measurements depending on what machine you're planning on putting these through gemini did just launch um the midi manual die cutting machine and uh, when i watched uh, sarah davies do her demonstrations on it she used the midi for pretty much everything apart from the main concept die so the first one that i showed you okay so what we're looking at next we're looking at the waterfall mechanism yeah okay finally got the hang of this ruined all those packages and now finally got the hang of it fyi this is how you open them okay that's the waterfall mechanism there so the idea is that you would so you've got to cut this out and then you have to cut um three pieces of card and then you would fold, you would glue those on each section that would tuck in there and then as you pull it your waterfall effect so you have got five steps pretty quick let's have a look at the top tip decorate your waterfall card using our paper pads and die cut toppers to really bring your car to life i feel like you've said that before so that's a very simple mechanism for something that is going to give a nice wow and then last but not least we have the slider mechanism so that looks like that so you would pull that out so imagine go back to the first picture here we've got a waterfall there so you would flip that up pull out the waterfall so you would just basically flip 
the pieces up and then within that so that's that one there isn't it no it's not that one there imagine that's that one there and you would just pull that out it's cute so um let's do this one and then we can talk about what you might use it for right so what do you get in there instructions whoops carefully peel that away again oops that wasn't done. that's the only one i've messed up so i'm pretty proud of myself there you should know my track record okay so we have five steps to create that slider and that all looks pretty simple let's check out the top tip Decorate and embellish your slider card as desired using patterned papers and die cut toppers. Fun timed. Right, so there you are. That is your, oh, you've got two pieces. Three pieces, in fact. You've got your slider part there, the main kind of pocket bit, and then this is the die that would create that little, because you've got the, you've got the um, crease line there, so that would pull down there. You can see that is that bit there that is that bit there that gets pulled out I mean that's the little pocket that you would um, glue your little um, things onto nice okay I've just realized that actually oh no that's the main yeah I'm just thinking I've given you all the sizes but that's the cut size isn't it Oh dear. Right. Right end of the tape measure. So that is three and a quarter, just a little bit shy by three for that one. Seven centimeters. Like eight and a half centimeters for that bit. By, by eight and you've got that little weedy bit there if obviously the biggest bit's going to fit in then the smallest bit's going to fit in so that is that one i do want to show you really how that box comes together they've made maximum use of the space um yeah i like it i like it a lot this is going to be some cute projects made with that so panion demonstrated that they were using it uh, for photos in there so imagine your photos in all the individual little waterfalls and twist and pops um mechanisms so it's for me it's like um it's like a scrapbook and a gift in one because obviously you can put anything you want to in in the in the box there uh you could have um if it was a new baby you could have um like you scan photos and bits and bobs in there you could you could pop a little pair of booties in there or you can use it if baby's um first year you could have put little locks of hair in there and as i say all the scan photos and baby's first this and that cute um just as a as a um a keepsake gift for grandparents aunts uncles uh just to have um a mother's day gift would be really cute as well i think there's a a lot there and uh you obviously it's a way of having your photos actually on display rather than just in your um in your phone and you're giving it an amazing gift as well uh, the box has been designed the box the main box lid that you saw there on the um the template which i've already managed to put somewhere okay uh, has no not that one this one this has been made reinforced so when you've glued it together these are your tabs that would glue it together 
Then you put adhesive on there and fold it back into the inside the um, rim of the lid. That means that you've got an extra sturdy box lid for all of the times it's going to be opened because it will get opened multiple times and not just opened um, with a lightweight item inside. You've got all those pages in there. So this lid here needs to be pretty sturdy to, ha to uh, have all those years of taking the lid on and off and they've thought about that as well so i hope you enjoyed this unboxing video it was a little bit i hope you enjoyed this unboxing video um, i'd love to know if you have already um, purchased this bundle or are planning to if you haven't and you fancy the look of this i will pop uh, links in the description below and um yeah be really excited to see what um you guys make with it i'm very excited to give it a try i also love all the standalone pieces that i'm going to be playing with as well got so many ideas buzzing around in my head well thanks so much for stopping by and watching and uh, i'll see you all again very soon take care bye bye